Congressman John Robert Lewis dedicated his life to fighting for social change, and now he lies in state at the U.S. Capitol, the forum where for decades he used his voice to encourage fellow lawmakers to choose equality and make good trouble. People across the country have come braving a heat wave, sweltering summer sun in D.C., waiting in line for hours, socially distant, to pay their respects to this hero of the civil rights movement, grateful for the chance to say thank you one last time. 11 Lives Hope Ford is in D.C. and hope you have witnessed so many emotional moments in Washington this week. And it really is incredible how many people have those personal stories of, of knowing him or meeting him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Congressman Lewis represented Georgia for 17 terms, so obviously he, he has stories and people who know him there, but, you know, as well as here in D.C., his roots run deep, and it's not just on the political side. It's in the places that he visited and the people that he talked to. There's actually a historically black-owned restaurant that's not too far from the Capitol, and everyone there, they're, they're sad that they're not going to see Lewis stopping by again. There's a lot of familiar faces on the walls of Ben's Chili Bowl. Congressman Maxine Waters, Reverend Joseph Lowry, Denzel. Oh, and you might recognize former President Barack Obama. Of course, there's one more picture of a man, now lying in state not too far away. Here we have the picture of uh, Congressman Lewis here at Ben's Chili Bowl some, a few years ago. And here he's with my brother Nizam Ali on the, this side. On the other side is uh, uh, Bernard Demchuk, who is a uh, African-American history professor who had a great great love and respect and included him in his lectures right here in the back room. Kamel Ben Ali's family built Ben's Chili Bowl in 1958, and Lewis has walked in and ordered a dog or two since he was a young man. Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, which he was the president of at one time, was right across the street from the Chili Bowl. So when Lewis passed away, the family paid homage to Lewis, placing his picture front and center with a simple message, rest in power. We've lost a, a, a great a great leader, a great friend, uh, a great hero for this country. But in the future, there may be another spot to pay respect to the icon, right outside the restaurant on a mural with other influential black leaders, so he can continue to look out for everyone who walks by. We do it like every five years or so. We put a survey out and let the customers tell us who they wanted on the mural, so I'm sure there'll be plenty of space for Representative Lewis. And of course, that's just one of the many stories that we heard here in D.C., whether it's people seeing him in a restaurant or just talking to people who he's helped in some way. And right now he is, of course, at the top of the Capitol as people are coming by to pay their final respects. It's the last time he's going to be here in D.C. Tomorrow his family will take him back to Georgia. Cheryl. I'd love to see him added to that mural. Hope, thanks so much. Great story. As we mentioned, tributes to Congressman Lewis continue tomorrow in Atlanta. There will be a ceremony at the state capitol at 2 p.m. He will lie in state from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. At 7, his fraternity will hold a special service. And finally, there'll be a celebration of life at Ebenezer Baptist Church on Thursday morning. You can watch all of our special coverage on our 11 Alive YouTube page. We're going to have live coverage of the services here in Atlanta, as well as our previous stories about Congressman Lewis's life and his legacy. Also